how to import products from Amazon to Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to add any of these products you see right now, like right here, to your Shopify store in just easy, simple steps. So what we have to do first is go to the Shopify store itself, first and foremost, because this part is important, because we need to add an app. In the app section, or just like this, I will search for Amazon, like this, and search it in the Shopify App Store. This is this, this part is the part we need because in the Shopify App Store I can get a lot of like these like drop shipping options or general apps that I can use to like just see which one goes the best. Of course we have some options like AutoDS or like Set Commerce, Amazon Integration Plus, or the one I generally use, Amazon Dropshipper plus Walmart, like Amazon, technically, by the like definition or just read potential, I will just say install to this one. And when I say install, it will take me to the Shopify page. It will say, hey, do you want to like add this? I will just say yes, install like this. And when I say install, it will just add it to my Shopify store and it will be a part of my Shopify store in general. Now. I will be able to drop, of course, like a link and import that product easily from, it can be from Amazon, it can be from Walmart. And of course, then I will be able to put that into my Shopify store. So the next step is actually getting the product to like just work. I'm going to go ahead, choose a product. Like it can be any product you want. It can be like a movie. It can be like a book, it can be like a camera, gaming system, game, maybe like I will just go ahead and maybe like take a figure. Why not? Let's just take an Uchiha figure, like Shisui, yeah, Shisui. I will take it the link, like just go to the top part, like this. Oh, uh, I took the wrong one. I will go on, click on it like this as a copy. If you cannot like copy your links like this, maybe you're in the uh, like the mobile version or whatever, like there should be a share button and you, you can like copy the link like that. I will just copy the link like this and then I will put the link here and say get product. It should, yes, it exactly works as it should. I will say Funka Pop. You can like change the name here, as you can see, like I will delete the uh, animation part because this is an anime, not an animation technically. I will delete that part. I can see the product stats. It's like, f it's gonna fetch the information for me actually. So it might take some time, like for the uh, simple stuff to actually be like get. Uh, now I can see like Amazon price. I can like change this price because if I don't change this price, I don't do any profits. I can just go like this and make a small profit on it. And then I can see the images. I can delete one of the images, change the description, daily price. I can do like daily price sync and everything. And of course, when I do that, if it's my product, I can just like go on and like just don't like change anything if it's my own product. But of course, if it's not my own product and I'm just drop shipping it, I have to change the price to make a profit. Then I say add to my store. And of course, even though it takes some time, it's pretty fast in that sense. And when it's added, I can say view product and see that in my Shopify store.